Hello everybody, this is Diane. I'm having an ephemera making day today. One of the things I want to do is just uh, something I've been wanting to do as a Somerset inspired ephemera and uh, other pieces I want to make for a couple of golden book journals and also I'll have extras to set aside for future journals. So I had given you a preview of these two journal covers. Two Little Gardeners and the Rabbit's Adventure. I will be making some journals out of these books and they will be the regular um, sewn-in signature ones. Uh, I just made some with the uh, wire-bound uh, journals and so these are just going to be the sewn-in like the regular ones that I do. So I don't normally do themes with little golden books but um, sometimes the covers, the stories, warrant a theme. So these will be more themed than others that I've made. So of course this one will have bunnies in it and this one will be about gardening. So let's see. What I have done already is I had a Mod Podge session this morning and I got out some napkins that featured bunnies and some gardening images so and I pulled out glassine bags and tags and envelopes so these are some tiny little glassine bags that I did I had this little it's it was kind of a napkin but it was folded up like a like a Kleenex the kind that would come in a little pocket size <clears throat> package and it had I think it just had these four bunnies on it so I just put them on little <coughs> Sorry, little tiny glassine bags. And then I have some larger glassine bags that have those bunnies. And these. And then I had one napkin that had these vegetable seed packets on it. I only had the one napkin, but it went a long way. So I did three little tiny bags for them. I love those images and then some of the other size and then I just uh, did one with flowers because flowers are um, you can garden flowers too not just vegetables and then for the tags got some bunny tags and some gardening tags the flower napkins that I used were just some scraps that I had left over from other projects, so I'm glad I got those used up. And then I used my um, layaway envelopes with the flaps. So there's a bunny and a bunny. I gave this one a lettuce seed packet too because bunnies like lettuce. And gardening ones. So those are ready. I may do more to them, I don't know. And another thing that I did ahead of time was um, I took pages out of this book, which is a little golden book, but it's a big little golden book. So there is a regular size version of this book, and this one is the big one. So I bought it so I could have the pages, and I can use some of the pages for envelopes. So all of the pages that didn't have bunnies on them, I took out and I made some envelopes with those with those pages. So I've got some envelopes ready that can be used in these journals or in future projects. I didn't use the bunny pages for the envelopes because I want to use them in a journal. Whether it's this journal or a future journal, I don't know. So let's move on to the projects that I want to do. This one, Somerset inspired. Um, these little tags I thought were so cute with some vintage ladies and flowers and some pretty floral scrapbook paper. I have to do them, my version though. I don't have, I don't use a lot of paper flowers, you know, these kind of flowers, and I don't have a lot of them. And the ones that I do have, 
are too big or not the right color. So I had some flowers that I had already um, cut with my Big Shot. I got just this little box of them here. Um, one time as I was cutting a bunch of stuff with my Big Shot, I filled in the space um, as I put it through the platform with flowers. And so, and I haven't done anything with them. So I have all of these flowers. Hopefully I can find some the right, and there's leaves in there too. <clears throat> I even did a few butterflies. Um, so in preparation, I already had those flowers already done. Uh, I selected some small images from digitals. I think these are too big. So I have these smaller ones that I pulled out. And I chose some scraps. This is also a scrapistry video because um, all of this part is scraps. And even those were made with scraps. And I cut some small tags that are two and a half inches wide by three inches high. And then I just cut them into the, you know, the rectangle shape and then angled, angled them with my scissors. And then I already added an eyelet to them so I didn't have to do that on video because it's noisy when I do that. I've got a bunch here. And these are the little cutoffs because these were just small scraps of paper, but these are the cutoffs from cutting them into the tag shapes and I'm going to save those and make clusters with them. <coughs> so um, yeah, all I have to do now is arrange um, little scraps of fabric or lace and an image and flowers and then I have some embroidery floss that I can put through the eyelet like is on here. So let's just get to it. I already had an image picked out for this one and I wonder what I did with it. I think it was this one. Because I trimmed it a little bit to make it fit better. I don't know if it was that one or not, but we're going to use that one. I have a bit of cheesecloth that I could maybe use. I'm at my sewing machine even though I don't think I'll be sewing on this project, but uh, another one I will be. I'm just going to dump these flowers out here so it's easier for me to grab them. Also, don't have a pearl for the center. <clears throat> I had some of those things and I got rid of them all because I don't use them. Oh, that's a little die. Got that's one of the dies that I was using. Put it back in that little box so I don't lose it. Must be for that tiny flower. And here again, I'm using um, scraps of lace and cheesecloth. So it's a scrappy project. All I have to do now is glue. having another rainy day today. Last couple days were pretty nice. Today's Thursday as I'm making this video and I went for a nice walk Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday.
too close to the edge. So can't see very much of the cheesecloth sticking up a tiny bit here and you can see a little bit behind there and you wouldn't look at it and say oh there's cheesecloth there but I guess it does give a little bit of a layered look Pretty sure this set of flower dies is a Tim Holtz one. I made a note on this that I may, may use yo-yos instead of the flowers, but I thought that the yo-yos were a little bit too bulky. They don't have it. Yeah, I guess maybe they do. I didn't think they had it fastened there. I thought it was just like a loose loop. But I think it's just the end of it is hiding behind the tag. So I'm going to do it like I would do my seam binding in a tag, I guess. I have it doubled, so I have four strands going through there instead of two. Oh, don't pull it out. So that's just a cute little tag. I'll do one more and then I'll move on to another project that I have prepped over here. Let's do a different color. Let's try this green one. That one looks pretty. I have to trim some of it off. I think this is from TaylorMade Studios, TaylorMade Journals, sorry, TaylorMade Journals, uh, her lovely lady trading cards or something like that. Oh, I forgot to add um, a leaf to this, probably too late now. I could still tuck one in there. I think the glue's wet enough that that might... Oh, I'll put a little more glue on there. Okay, back to this one. I will use blue flowers.
Um, and some leaves. I have this other shade of green here. I didn't put any ink on the other one. Not that I forgot, I just didn't want to, but now I'm kind of wishing I did. make too many of these on camera it would take me too long just to ink the flowers okay I think I will put the floss through this one before I add the flowers. <clears throat> okay. I think this has been rewound onto the card because it's a much thinner floss. This was my mom's, yeah, there it goes. She uh, used this length and just pulled uh, three of the strands off it. So this is a thinner piece. Do any lace or fabric. I'll just put that on. These are small tags, you don't have a lot of room to play. So hopefully today, before I'm done, I will finish all of these tags. It's a lot of tags that I can add to my stash. Hmm, these are two different shades of green. why I wanted to put the floss in first. I thought the leaf might cover that hole up. Uh, 
Uh, next time I go to a craft store, I may look for some flatback pearls or something just to keep some in my stash. I think I can color them with alcohol ink if I want a different color. They don't take up a lot of space. But that little tiny flower makes a cute center. They're cute. All right, put these uh, aside and I will make some more of them later and hopefully make these clusters so I use up all the scraps and not have stuff sitting around waiting for me to get to it. The next project, this is where I'm going to need my sewing machine. Um, this is what I'm making. <coughs> uh, it's just a card, a collaged card with a bunny on it. And I sewed around it. I took... Um, is it still here? I don't know where I put it, but at, uh, at the flea market, in one of my recent hauls, I showed a box of index cards. That's what they called these. They're, they're not the same size as a regular index card, but it's um, it was to put through a printer. They were all perforated, but they were all together in one sheet, and so you could print something on them. And um, I got it for a dollar for the whole box. I don't see it here. But anyway, that's what I'm using for these, for the base. So what I've done so far is I stamped a background stamp. I'll zoom out a little bit here. I already stamped a background stamp, and then I inked around the edges. And I have taken these vintage botanical images from an old book. I love these old images. Aren't they the coolest? Look at how pretty that is. Looks like it's hand colored. I didn't do anything to it. And I believe I have one. Yep, I have one cut and ready. Right here. Uh, a book page. Uh, a torn book page. And this is from a um, shorthand book, so it has an assignment on it. And I have that. I also have this old hymnal that would be great, and this uh, mechanics or uh, machinist book with these tables. So they would be, either of those would be great for the background page too. And I cut out one of the rabbits. I had an old book that had these bunnies, oh, all of these were on one sheet, so I can make six of these cards using these images. So I cut him out and I put him behind, or put some yellow lace behind him so it would stand out better. This one has a little blue lace behind it. And just this polka dot fabric, black polka dot fabric, will go up here with this little piece from a vintage linen on top of it. And then I will add just a little snippet of lace, or this in this case, it's a little piece of mesh fabric. It's vintage, and then I'll add a button to it. Um, and before I do the add this stuff. Well, before I add the button, I will sew around. I should have started this one first because I have to glue this stuff and I can't sew it while the glue is dry or wet. I'm going to ink around this piece. that glued down. 
I left this edge on it because <clears throat> it's really old and grungy looking. There's some dried up glue on it that turned brown. I don't even know if these journal cards will go in the golden book that I'm making, but I have other bunny things too, so I'll be making another bunny book at some point. So I figured I would just go ahead and make ephemera with bunnies. Some of it can go in the golden book and I'm sure some of it won't. If I put this one together and then I have another one with the pieces already, I can get that one put together and then maybe I can sew around this one. vintage paper. It smells funny. Different kinds of paper too, but it's all, when it's vintage, it smells funny when I put a glue stick on it. Strange. go. Here it is. How'd it get way over there? I'm just going to put a little glue down here that will hold the mesh down. And then the sewing machine will hold it down some more. Um, I guess that's it. I'm not going to glue these. I'll just sew them when I'm sewing around. He's up a little higher than I intended, but okay, we'll go with it. I'm just going to put some floss through this button. not using a needle. The holes are big enough, but I didn't get all six strands through the hole. There we go, I think. Yeah. struggling because I'm on camera, you know. I'm just holding it up to my face. Okay, we're in. <laughs> now I can't even tie a knot. And that 
will end up being glued right there. I thought I would have to cut these cards down, but because the images of the rabbits are kind of small. But with all the other pieces, it worked out pretty well. I don't even know what these measure. Six by four, maybe? Or five by four? Well, I've got a measuring tape right here. four and a quarter by five and a half. I believe this is a Prima background stamp. I don't know the name of it. Looks like this. It, it has the plastic backing on it and I don't know that I've ever removed it. Maybe I did. But I leave it on the plastic backing. That's my stamping block, I guess. And this time, I tore it so that it would just be on the side instead of across the top. Let's do something different. Glue sticks almost empty. I've got more. I have this pretty image. Fussy cut these things while I was watching TV last night. And I have this little bunny already. This is a little scrap from a vintage tablecloth. It had a folk art design and this just had a little bit of a border on it. Couldn't throw it away. And this is a little piece of a sheer kind of a lace fabric. Save that for something else.
I gotta tell you, I've been, I started doing an, uh, a Zoom Bible study with some ladies from my church. And uh, I'm not in charge of it. But we're all reading the same book and then we talk about it um, Wednesday nights. So we've done it two, two days now, two different days. And so we start it at seven and we go a little bit over an hour. So my clock chimes while we're on the Zoom meeting. And uh, I, w I didn't even think about it last night. The first night I did because um, someone was talking and she was being very quiet. And I said, I'm having a hard time hearing you because my clock is chiming. My daughter, who's on also uh, going to this Zoom Bible study, she said, we hear it, Mom. <laughs> But last night, um, it started chiming, and nobody said anything at first. Nobody was talking. I guess everybody was thinking at that point, but then one of the ladies said, Diane, your clock is very soothing. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I should take the batteries out of it. The chime batteries, not the clock batteries. But I leave them in. The batteries uh, died. The, ba the chime battery died not too long after my husband passed away, and I didn't. I just didn't replace them for a long time. But we both liked the chime, so finally. I didn't know if I wanted to replace them. It's kind of weird. I can't explain why, but I just didn't know. thought maybe I would just let the chimes go. But I ended up replacing them eventually. Replacing the battery. Well, if I put this piece down, it's got little bits of embroidery on it. It'll cover up most of that lace, but... That's okay, you'll get a little peekaboo effect there. Gotta hurry up if I'm gonna have time to sew around the edge of that other one. If I move it down, then I won't have to cover up. Oh yeah, I will be covering it up all these little pieces of embroidery, I want them to show, but I'm going to have to cover something. I guess I'll put that there. And when this glue is dry, I will do that sewing and then add the button. So for now, I am just going to do the sewing around the edge of this one, because I think it should be dry now get all these things out of my way so I can move my machine back over here I think I want this strip to be a little narrower brown thread in my machine.
missed the button. If I use the foot pedal, I just lift my foot up and it stops. But It with that brown zigzag around it. So I'm going to glue that down so it's not too floppy because I'm going to glue the button on top of that. To get the glue down there where it belongs. I used um, glossy accents for the other button, but I don't have that over here, so we'll see if this works for the button. If it doesn't stay on, I'll just use glossy accents later. So I have two of those done. And this one almost done. And three more to make these images. I don't have the botanical fussy cut. It looks like I need to stamp one more of these cards, but that doesn't take long. And what else did we do? These little tags. They're cute. On the backs of these, this one is light enough it can be journaled on, and this one also. So I could probably just ink around the edge there. Um, anything that, like you might not want to write on that one. It's not dark, but the pattern's a little bit busy. I would just cut a square that would fit here of something that could be journaled on and glue it on. Most of them can be journaled as is, but some of them I will have to, have to add something to the back. And then I have all those envelopes made and the uh, Mod Podging done on all of this stuff. So I got a lot of ephemera done today and I'm not done. I'm going to keep on working on some of these. So thanks for watching. I hope that you found some inspiration here. And I hope you'll come back to see some more of the little golden book journals as I work on them. Have a creative day today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.